All right, so what I wanna show you in this follow along is to set up an auto scaling group for our EC2 instance. And the idea behind this is that um, we'll be able to always ensure that a single server is running or uh, increase the capacity if the demand requires it. So in order to create an auto scaling group, we can go all the way down below to here. Um, and so, you know, I really don't like the auto scaling group form, but it's okay, we'll work our way through it. So the first thing is we'll have to create our, or name our auto scaling group. So let's just say my ASG, and then we'll have to select a launch template, which is great because we already have one. And then we'll have to select the version. I'm gonna select version two so that it applies that tag name and we'll go to next. And so here um, it's going to need to select a VPC and then we need some subnets. So we're going to choose three just because to have high availability, you have to be running in at least three different availability zones. So that's why we have three different subnets. And then down below we have the instance type requirements. So uh, T2 micro launch template looks good to me. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And then from here we can choose to do a load balancer and so I want to do the load balancer separate, so we won't do it as of yet, but very often if you're going to have an auto scaling group, you're going to usually have a load balancer, but we'll talk about that when we get to that point there. So we'll just go to the bottom here and hit next. And so this is what's important. So how many do you want to be always running? And so we always want to have one and maybe the maximum capacity is two and you want the desired cast capacity to be around a particular number. So if you had three and you said the desired is two, um, there are things that could try to work to always make sure there's two, but we just want to have one for this example. We can set up a scaling policy. So I do target tracking scaling policy. And so here we could do it based on a bunch of different things. So if the CPU utilization went over 50%, it would launch another server. So that might be something we might want to set. So I'll, we're not going to uh, try to trigger the scaling policy, but we might as well just apply because it it's not too hard. And then you can also do a scaling uh, scale in protection policy. So if you want to make sure it does not... Um, uh, reduce the amount of servers, that's something you could do. We could add a notification to say, hey, there's a scaling policy happening here, which is fine, we don't have to worry about that. Um, and there's tags, so add tags to, uh, to help you search, filter, etc. cetera. Um, so I'm gonna put a tag here, I'm gonna just say name. I'm just wondering if this is gonna attach to the EC2 instance or this is for the auto scaling group. You can optionally choose to add tags to instances by specifying tags in your launch template. So we already did that, so I don't need to put a tag here. And so we can review our um, auto scaling group and go ahead and create that auto scaling group. Okay, and so that auto scaling group expects there to be a single instance. So what's gonna do is it's gonna start a launching an instance. And so what I'm gonna do is just get rid of this old server because we don't need it anymore, this old one here, okay? And you can already see, okay, that the load balancer is launching this new one here. And remember, we updated our version two to have that name, so that's how we know that it is. So if we go back over to our auto scaling group, okay, it's now saying there is an instance. We don't have a status as of yet. And so there are ways of doing uh, status checks to uh, for it to determine whether or not the server is working. Um, because if the server is unhealthy, what it would do is it would actually kill it and then start up a new one, right? So if I go down below, it's right now doing an EC2 health check. And the EC2 health check just means that, is the server working, right? Um, is it running? It doesn't necessarily mean like, hey, can I load this web app? Um, but you know, it's very simple. So we'll give it a moment here to start up and just make sure that it's working. Okay, and I think it's ready. So if I take that public IP address here and paste it in, there it is, okay? So if we were to tell it to increase the capacity to three, then what it would do is it would launch three and then it should probably launch it all evenly to those other, it should evenly launch it to all those other uh, availability zones and then we'll have something that is highly available, okay? So that's pretty much it for this and then we'll move on to auto scaling groups.